Hey guys, this is Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on the sensational Sunday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, love and blessings to you and thank you for the support coming thank you for also coming to my channel everything's positive i talk anything about indigos to twin flames twin flame reunions uh talking to your spirit guys talking to your spirits and the loved ones that's passed uh my grief everything is just positive on this channel um like and subscribe hit the notification button so you will know when i have another video that's coming to you. So, today my video is about Twin Flame 101, knowing you're on the right path and the signs that can prove it. Oh my gosh, it's just when you go through so many things, everybody is on their own journey, everybody has their own story to tell, and you're always wondering, you know, different questions in your head, am I doing the right thing, am I going to stop, am I going left, am I going right? Am I going to slow down? Am I going to stop? Am I going to give up? Or am I going to succeed? Is this going to happen right for me? Is it going to happen? You know, when is it going to happen? We always have these thousands of questions about things that we are going through. Do you know if we're on the right path or not? And there are so many signs. If we actually just stop, relax, and pay attention, you have signs around you all the time. Like with me, I'm, I have, I always see my dad's, uh, birthday or I see my birthday a lot or I see my dad's anniversary of his passing um anytime like I get you know discouraged or my feelings and stuff like that I always have my dad's voice in my head saying you know what you are so strong you are just so strong you just don't realize how strong you are you know if you can get through this you can get through anything just do not give up and he was just like pay attention to the signs because i'm just like you know when is things gonna happen for me what you know i'm doing these videos even though it makes me feel good that i'm doing these videos but i'm reaching out to people sending love and blessings to everybody and just wondering you know is justice gonna prevail for me is justice gonna prevail for my dad you know all these questions and it is just like when you, when you have signs like that, when you always feeling like you're alone, trust me, you're never alone. Even though we might be physically going through our journey by ourselves, it might be hard. You, you know, it, it is just like um, with my situation. I had started off with so many friends. Now I have acquaintances. To barely having no one. <laughs> and it is okay. That lets you know sign number one you're on your right path because all the old things that you used to be attached to suddenly disappears people suddenly disappear out your life like i said in a couple of other videos when you start your journey with people you're not always going to add you know not always going to have the same people that started the journey with you from the beginning it's going to be the same people that ended with you at the end and that's one sign the other sign is when, like I said before, when you feel like you're you're on your own, like me, I always felt like I was by myself until, you know, I started getting, like, messages from my dad telling me how strong I am and telling me how much he loves me. And when I get to that, that point where I get so upset and depressed, he always tells me, think about Think about the conversations we had. Think about the times we were laughing together, you know. Or he, there's like little sayings that people would say, let me know he's in my corner. Um, like either a song will either pop up in a movie or something like that. Or I constantly see that little red corvette speeding past me all the time and I just start busting out laughing. Um, that lets you know that um you're on the right path because you'll you'll have your little spirit guides and your angels you know especially from your loved ones that you're really close to or your loved ones that hold you dear they'll be there to tell you you'll have that voice in your head like hey don't give up you're on the right path you're doing what you're supposed to do and even the things when you're not supposed to do it they'll let you know trust me they will 
that'll let you know that's one sign to let you know you're on the right path and then the other one is when people start to disappear from your life you feel like oh my gosh why did they leave me at this time but in actuality they they, they serve their purpose in their life for you you have learned a lesson from them and it's just and then it's just their time to move on it's their time to part, part ways okay and another another one is when situations do occur to you that things that might not be so pleasant but you can be upset about it just for that one little moment or be sad about it one little moment but that lets you know you're on the right path is when you can look at it from a different perspective when you're no longer looking at it as a negative situation and you turn it out into a positive situation like with mine yes i've never had a chance to actually reconnect with my dad but just look at all the millions of songs that he has made that brought joy to so many people's lives that has helped them get through a lot of things and now the videos that i'm doing is helping people and people are knowing my story if we would have we would have got reconnected people probably wouldn't have known the things they've known felt the things that they felt so i have to look at it from that positive positive perspective that even though he might not be in the physical presence anymore he is always spiritually there to help me to guide me to protect me to let me know that he's always there and that is one sign that I have right there. When you start looking at things from a positive perspective, that will let you know that you're on the right path. When you start synchronizing and you start looking and uh, finding the knowledge out, you know, Google is your best friend. Google it. <laughs> you know, you start seeing a certain set of numbers, like more than once. It's like 777. Anytime you see the, the one number more than one time, it amplifies it. So go for it. See what that angel number meaning is. And it might tell you something that will clarify something that you had a question for. And when you start looking at things from a positive perspective and synchronize and just actually sit there, and things might be chaotic, but once you sit there and calm, calm yourself, raise your frequency up and get into your higher self to listen to the divine you might just get your answer so there's just like some things get upsetting to me my dad's always there to cheer me up he's making me goofy face or um i have pictures that are saved and it goes on my tv and then it just all happen to pop up and my dad's doing a silly face like uh, you know or you know rolling his eyes or doing something like that It'll just made me bust out laughing i said will you stop because this is not a funny time and you're always constantly trying to make me laugh at a non-funny time so but things will begin to progress because it's like right now my blessings are being so big and things that I can't really talk about right now because I don't want to jinx myself. And I just want to make sure everything is all in order before I go ahead and start telling you guys everything. So things will be better for you. You just have to look at it from a different perspective. Anything that is worth it is never going to be easy. So you're going to have to go through some trials and tribulations to get to it. But at the end, it'll be all worth it. Because I look at a lot of things that I, um, I went through many months before or years before. And how I look at things and people, it presents itself to me. And it's like, you know, it's God's test. Like, okay, you say that, you know, you're going to hug this person. Even though they know that you did them, they did you wrong. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that, you know, to see if you're gonna be able to do that. And every time I was able to do that, and it's just like I can hear them just saying, "Yay, we are so proud of you. You actually, you know, said you were gonna do something that you were supposed to do." And it's a good thing. So you guys have to have faith. Take that leap of faith, even though you do not know what your future holds. Just have that faith that everything's gonna work out for you in the long run. 
and I'm not gonna hold you guys uh, Sunday up is good go ahead barbecue have fun listen to music and that is what I'm going to do and I will talk to you guys later with love and blessings like I said like subscribe hit that notification button so you know when my next video is coming up and please drop a comment I love to hear from you guys and love and blessings and remember everything just because it might be just because your current situation is your current situation never think that's your final destination keep that in your mind just because what you're going through right now don't mean it's always going to be like that you got to remember that but many, much love and many blessings to you oh yeah and i'm listening to the zen music it's relaxing you guys gotta look it up it's on youtube under soothing music and i will talk to you later peace and be wild